there's um, a small ship's warning um, of a gale so we've decided that we might as well stay here so it's time for some splicing so I've taped my ends and now I'm going to unlay the rope now uh, this is a nylon rope um, so because um, it's nylon it needs at least five to six um, splices to keep it strong because this one um, slips whereas um, natural fiber doesn't slip so you, you can go for less rope um, so I'm going to unlay the rope so, um, so that's one two three four five six okay so I'm going to be doing six uh, whips and I'm going to just do one more for luck and now I'm going to take this here and what we're going to do just below where I've taped it is we're going to put a sail maker's whipping just here because we want this to be a permanent uh, fixture so we can just uh... <sighs> So what we've done is we've put a common whipping in and um, we've then sewn that in as well so that it should be well and truly secured. But now that I've got that done I can actually remove this bit of tape. So what I've done is I've marked the end of the rope. I've got one red, blue one, one red one and I've just left the other one white. It's just so that I know which strand I'm dealing with really. One of the tools you'll need to do any splicing at all is a hollow fid. And what that allows you to do is to open up the rope so that you can actually get um, your spliced rope through it. Alright, so um, basically I've got um, the whipping here and I've split the three ropes and um, for our references we've just got the blue rope that goes underneath we've got the white rope which is our middle rope and our pink one um, which is here okay now we're going to use the pink rope initially um, and we're going to go under use the hollow fid to go under that okay now you must have enough um, one because you also need to go under this one with the middle one okay so this one's going to go under that one and the white one is going to go under that one so let's get doing I'm going to go underneath and lift this up it's always a little bit tricky I just like to untwist it slightly and then once it's one twisted, and uh, let's see, top one, and it's this one. So I'm going to go in there and then I can push it underneath so that it pulls. Okay, that's the first one. Okay. Then the next one, which is the one that was on top, has to go above. So that's there, and now this one's above it. And what that will do is make sure that the uh, um, it's really tight. This is the hardest one, yeah? Yeah, because basically this is going to be, um, make sure that the thimble is really tight in, because we want it very tight. So, because that's above that, mm, it's really it. going to make that very tight. Okay, so these two are actually the easiest one. I always find the third one 
is the hardest to suss out. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it over. Now we've basically, when I turn it over, I have to think what's going to happen to these ropes. Okay? And basically this rope has just gone under that, so it's going to go over this. That one has just gone under that, so it's going to go over that one. So basically you've got to find the one where it's not going to clash with any of the others, but it's going to go under um, the third rope. So let's just look at that. That's going to go over. Okay. Um, so this, because that's going to go over and under. This over, under, over, under. Just let me just think for a minute, love. When you're doing a, a splice, um, you start from the right to the left. So when you're putting things underneath, you're going from the right to the left. I've now turned 180 degrees, so I'm now on the back. And this is the as I say this is the one that's always the hardest and again I'm going to go from the right to the left so it's actually got to be over here in the books it says the uppermost okay the uppermost splice now what I look at is I try and think right okay this one is going to go over that one under that one so it's going to go over that one so this one here it's going to go over under over so this one which is the last one has got to go under that so it's important that um, when you're doing these splices that the, that um, you don't have two um, coils going over the same thing but because that's going over under over then this one can go under that one I know it's a bit complicated, but that's the way I do it. Okay, so once I've got my splices um, worked, the first splice is always the hardest. But then it's not too bad because um, this is going to go over that and under this. So I guess to pull it up. Bring it down. and it's over. Now what I like to do is I like to do a pattern so I've just done that one so this is going to be my next one so I just so it's gone under that so it's over this and it's under that one so it's over The hollow fit is definitely the way to go with this. I think you need a bit more fit. Yeah, a bit more fit. There you go. As Beth says, a bit more fit. It's obviously fiddly. <laughs> okay, so I've done that one. So that's. Um, I, I then twist it. So it's got to go over this one and under that one and you can see I've just got a little bit of a pull there I'm hoping that'll be all right um, can you see the pull it's just gone just under yeah, go on. so so I'm going over and under again so I pull it up a bit more fit as Bev says it's not an easy job it's just methodical, really. <sighs> so again, I twist it. And now I'm going to go over that one and under. So you just carry on doing this. So 
you just twist it one one third at a time going over and under so it's over this one under under that one all right so this is what it looks like yep after you've done it yep so what is it you're going to do all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut off the ends and then I'm going to use my lighter um, to, because this is a plastic, it will actually um, stop the rope from fraying. Okay. And then the last little job is just to get rid of uh, these little bits of um, tape that I only use to um, keep everything going there. Really. So that's okay, so I'll cut this off. And then... Try not to set the boat on fire. <laughs> Basically, yep. Yeah. Singe the ends. So that it's, um, and then just I stick it down sometimes so that it's flat, you know. So that's it, really. Look at Oki. So uh, we've now got the shackle. And all this is so that we can uh, add it to our spare anchor. Well, there you go. There it is on uh, with my shackle and my Danforth anchor. So, and that's it in the sail locker. And there's my splice. All done and neat and tidy.